This is what some would call the ultimate longevity supplement. And in 2022, the FDA banned it. So for the next 30 days, I'm gonna be taking it to see if it really works. I'm talking about NMN or nicotinamide mononucleotide, which is an NAD plus precursor. But does it really work? To know this, I need to measure my intercellular NAD plus levels before I start taking NMN. After searching around a bit on the internet, I found an NAD plus test and I ordered it. This is an intercellular NAD test. I'm about to collect some blood samples and then I'll send this off to have the results analyzed in a lab. All right, so I just finished, patched up my finger, put a little Band-Aid on it. Basically, you put a drop of blood on each one of these little circles here, and then you've got to let it air dry for two to three hours. And then after two to three hours, you put this NAD fixing buffer on this side. They provide you with shipping envelopes to put this in and then send it back. Now that I had my baseline NAD plus test done, it was time to start taking NMN. Before we go any further, I wanna pause and say a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Alpha Cell Labs. They're an Australian-based company that creates pharmaceutical-grade, high-quality, third-party tested NMN, and they're regulated by the TGA. When Alpha Cell Labs and I first started discussing this video, I mentioned that I would like to test my NAD plus levels before and after using their product, and they thought that was an amazing idea and showed their full support. So again, huge thank you to Alpha Cell Labs for sponsoring this video. Without them, this video wouldn't exist. To see the results that I got from taking their NMN, make sure to keep watching. It is day two of taking NMN. I'm about to go on a run, and to be honest, oh, it's raining. To be honest, I don't really feel anything yet. Okay, I'm about to go to bed. That's why I've got these beautiful glasses on and why my hair looks so good. But I got a really exciting email from Genvenity. That's the company that I did my NAD plus test with and my results are in. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in and pull those up and we'll take a look at them together. It's saying that my intercellular NAD is 28.3. I think that's micrometers. And that is in the deficient range. I'm like on the upper end of deficient, it looks like. Okay, well, that's my baseline. I'm gonna keep taking NMN and hopefully that raises my baseline up. So I've been on NMN for 10 days now. And to be honest, I don't feel too different. Maybe a little bit more energy, just a little bit more of an edge over what I normally feel, but nothing crazy. Today is day 20 on NMN. Hey, shh, 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 shh. <laughs> I feel really energized, more mentally alert. I feel like I'm running on a cleaner source of energy. I don't know if that even makes sense, but I just, I just feel good. Today is day 30 of being on NMN, and I'm about to go test my NAD plus levels. But first, there are two things that I wanna talk about. The first of those is how NMN works. At the very beginning of the video, I mentioned that NMN is an NAD plus precursor, but what does that actually mean? NAD plus is one of the most abundant molecules in the body and it plays a crucial role in energy production. Back in biology class, you probably learned about mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. Well, NAD plus helps mitochondria take energy in the form of food and transform it into energy that cells can actually use or ATP. Besides helping with energy production, NAD plus also plays a critical role in gene expression and cell signaling. There are these NAD plus dependent proteins called sirtuins that play a role in DNA repair. As people age, their levels of NAD plus tend to decrease. Like I just mentioned, sirtuins are NAD plus dependent. So these proteins that repair DNA are way less effective with less NAD plus in the body. As people age, we know that DNA accumulates damage. So in short, researchers believe that having higher levels of NAD plus helps prevent some of this age related damage. There are three main pathways through which humans can produce NAD+. NMN acts on these pathways to increase the level of NAD plus in your body. The second thing we should talk about is the FDA ban on NMN. I've been taking it for the past 30 days and I feel great. And all these leading researchers and biohackers are taking it and recommending it. 
So why did the FDA ban it? After doing a little bit of reading, I found out why. Up until November of 2022, NMN was classified as a dietary supplement. Then on November 4 of 2022, the FDA issued a letter withdrawing this designation. Due to regulations that the FDA is under, substances can't be marketed as dietary supplements if they're being investigated as pharmaceutical drugs. So essentially what this means is that in the U.S., there are companies that are trying to make NMN a pharmaceutical drug, not just a dietary supplement. So is it illegal to take NMN or do you need a prescription or how does it work? It's not illegal and you currently don't need a prescription. It's just unlawful for U.S. manufacturers to produce NMN and label it as a dietary supplement. In the U.S., you can still purchase NMN as long as it's for personal use. Companies like Alpha Cell Labs that's based in Australia don't fall under the regulations of the FDA, so they can still produce NMN and sell it to U.S.-based customers. Now, in my opinion, this ban by the FDA actually makes NMN sound a little bit more promising. If pharmaceutical companies are investing millions of dollars into NMN and trying to get it reclassified as a pharmaceutical drug, then this shows that they believe that there's some promise behind this. For them, it wouldn't make sense to invest millions of dollars into this unless they thought that they could regain that money somehow. All right, I'm gonna go take that second NAD plus test. Another really exciting email just came in and it's from Genfinity. My new test report's in, so let's check this out. So my intercellular NAD after 30 days of taking NMN is 48.6 micrometers, which puts me in the optimal range. That's really crazy. In just 30 days, I went from deficient to optimal. So just as a reminder, my first intercellular NAD test had me in a deficient range. I came in at 28.3 micrometers and now I'm at 48 micrometers. To me, it's really cool when you can take something like this and then measure these kinds of results after just 30 days, going from deficient to optimal in 30 days. So will I keep taking this? Yes, and if you would like to try it, I'm gonna leave links in the description below where you can order yourself some of this and give it a try. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.